Now, this is a story that we had highlighted earlier where the Law Society of Kenya, LSK, has questioned the Director of Public Prosecution, DPP, over the move to withdraw a number of major graft cases involving prominent Kenyans. Terming the move by Nudin Hajj as suspicious, LSK President Eric Dewey has called on the DPP to publicly reveal the reasons for the discontinuation of the cases in public to restore confidence in them. The decision by the Director of Public Prosecution to drop corruption charges touching on important Kenyans has now drawn the attention of the Law Society of Kenya. We will, uh... During a media briefing, the Society's President Eric Theuri wants DPP to publicly reveal the reasons. We are assigning improper motives in the withdrawal and we are led, we are left with a very reasonable presumption that the only intention of withdrawal of these cases is to ensure that those who have been nominated for various positions in the public service, the hurdles that are before them in the form of those cases are eliminated. Terming the movers a threat to the rule of law, LSK president notes it undermines the fight against corruption and crime. If the DPP can charge someone without a proper basis, how then tomorrow can we say that he is exercising the functions of his office independently and for the purposes for which the office has been set up. It is here that the society that has threatened to sue DPP if no action is taken also questioned the nomination and appointment process of different state officers. The Law Society notes that the Commission re recently shortlisted about 477 candidates for the position of permanent secretaries and without any credible explanation expanded the list by another one or eight candidates in a manner that speaks to taking instructions from other quarters and renders the ongoing interview a sham and a public relations exercise. In recent days, the DPP has dropped graft cases involving former Malindi member of parliament who is also a cabinet secretary nominee, Aisha Jumwa, and former Kenya Power Managing Director, Ben Chumo. For Prime Edition, I'm Zainab Said.